Okay, in this short video, we're looking at chromosomes, genes, and DNA. Now, here's a typical animal cell. We'll just annotate this for you slightly. You know this bit here is called the uh, cell membrane. You know also there's this substance here called cytoplasm. And the bit we're particularly interested in today is this bit here, and you know that's called the nucleus. Now, the nucleus contains what are called chromosomes and chromosomes are made of a very very special chemical called DNA. Now DNA was first described by two scientists in Cambridge by the names of over here there was Jim Watson and Francis Crick. They worked together in Cambridge and they put together lots of ideas based on other people's work and they came up with a definitive structure of DNA. So let's look now at DNA itself. Now you know that um, in the human nucleus there are 23 pairs of chromosomes. It's right over here then, 23 pairs. And you know that the 23 come from your mother and 23 from your father. Now here's DNA. Now DNA has got a very, very characteristic shape. It's called a double helix. Now you imagine a long ladder. I'm going to draw a ladder down here. Oops, let's get out there. Long ladder. Is, and you know that ladder has got rungs. The rungs run between the two uprights. Now imagine that you had a very, very strong friend in yourself. What you did, you twist the ladder in opposite directions. So that goes there, and that goes there. So you're actually twisting the whole thing. You end up with a double helix. So here is one of the strands. Here, here's one strand. See how it's been twisted? And here's the other strand here. We've got you've got these rungs. Here's here's your rung here, your ladder, and these are the rungs. The rungs are made of what are called bases. There are four types of bases, and these are particular names. Go over here, shall we? There is adenine, which is A. There is thymine, which is T. There is cytosine, which is C, and there is guanine which is G. Now, these pair in a particular way. Over here, A always pairs with T, and C always pairs with G. So, for example, this was C here, that must be G, and if that was C, there would be G there, a bit hidden. So this is A, that would be T, A, T, what was yellow? Yellow was G, and what was red? That was thymine. But you get the idea. And what you end up with are these pairs of bases that are held together by bonds and they form the rungs if you like of DNA. Let's look at the individual part. Let's look at this part here. Okay. Now here's the individual part. Now each part is called a nucleotide. Nucleotide. So looking over here, we're looking at one particular part here, this bit here, and this is one section. Okay. And this bit here is the base. So what do we say? I can't remember what it was now. Was that guanine? Was it was green guanine? So that there, that there would be um, guanine. Okay. And this one here could be thymine, and this one here could be adenine. So these are our bases. Now what else does a um, nucleotide consist of? We consist here at the top here. This is a phosphate group. It's a phosphate group here. Also, we've got here a sugar group. This is a sugar. Now, in our case here, the sugar is deoxyribose. So, deoxyribose is a sugar. Okay, and that's the sugar there. So, we've got a phosphate group, sugar group, and down here we've got a base. As I said before, we've got a base over here. That's our base. And together they make up what's called a nucleotide. And here's the order. So, this one order here will go A, T, G, and so on. Now the order is what's called the genetic code. So the order of the bases is genetic code. So this one here is A, T, G, and it could go G, it could go T, A, and so on. Now the code actually codes for or carries amino acids. So we'll see this in the next video, but these code for amino acids. And amino acids are combined together in a specific sequence as dictated by this genetic code here to form what are called proteins. So basically, 
what DNA up here is doing, DNA is coding for proteins. And that code is hidden in the bases. Not so much hidden, but now deciphered as A, T, G, and so on. So the order of the bases gives us a genetic code. The genetic code tells us what order to put amino acids together to make specific proteins. Okay? Now, I think we did a few questions now. Check how you're getting on. So, three questions. First of all, what does DNA stand for and exactly where would you find it in the body? Who are the two scientists that discovered the structure of DNA and when did they do it? And think back to the experiment in the lab. Why did you blend the mixture? Why did you filter the mixture? And why did you put ethanol into the test tube? So, have a go at this please and let's get these questions done and walk along to the next lesson. Okay, and I'll see you there. Bye-bye for now.